Hello and welcome back to Tech It Classic Reborn with me, Trionus. So last time I was working on the lava generator and I've done a little bit of work on it. And I think I've come up with a, a bit of a better solution. Uh, this has been turned off again uh, to save the ticking or the fast ticking at least. Uh, I have added more ticking down here with two more clocks, <laughs> two, two more timers even, not clocks. Uh, but as you can see, uh, I'm using the filters, same as what I've done here. Uh, but uh, on this one, this one pulls out the lava buckets directly into the uh, geothermal generators here. And then the two filters on either side, they pull out the empty buckets, which go directly into the uh, condenser itself to help with lava production. So kind of a self-feeding uh, situation here. Um, may still need to work on it a little bit more just to try and so I can add more to it without it being a huge machine <laughs> as such. Uh, but uh, it works, that's the main thing at the moment, I will uh, keep looking at it. The only main thing that I'm concerned about at the moment is that this pipe, uh, it goes at the back and it connects through here, uh, so it will go directly to the nearest empty source, but it may end up going into this filter here, from this side into there, and then bunging that one up but uh, at the moment it is working quite nicely as you've just seen the lava went into there filled up its space and came back into there obviously this machine I think could actually handle more than one up oh, here we go again so one lava bucket then it should get an empty one soon or no, no, not yet. That needs to go to uh, uh, 6,000, 6, yeah. That's right, and then it will be get rid of that empty bucket. So yeah, it's working. I've got a little bit more unlimited and stronger power source, because uh, like, I think I've mentioned this before, these generators only produce 10 uh, EU per tick. These produce 20, so uh, there's 40 EU tick per there, and with these there's, uh, what, uh, 50? So yeah, so these are a lot better than these. I just need to kind of sort it all out uh, a little bit better. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, for me to kind of sort out. So what I'm just thinking of there is have a row of the the geothermals here, and hopefully these things can go onto the back. So each one would have a back, and then it would come up and round or underneath or something on those sorts of lines, I don't know yet, I'm thinking off top of my head at the moment and not really planning if that makes sense. Anyway, let's move away from that a tiny bit and start thinking about what we're going to do with all this dark matter, as you can see I've got quite a bit, uh, so I'm just going to grab a couple of stacks, so I'm going to actually upgrade, well I don't know if it's, it's actually an upgrade or what, because these tools have served me rather well. Uh, but I'm going to make some dark matter tools, uh, which is probably long overdue. So, dark matter tools, here we go. So, uh, for the pick, I need two diamonds and three. I'm just going to use this so you can see the recipe is quite easy enough. Uh, so, there's the dark matter pick, uh, the axe. Let's just grab a couple of them. And the shovel, and then lastly the sword. There we go. And actually, no, not lastly. I'm going to get the dark matter hammer as well. It's been a long time since I've used these tools, and I can't quite remember what the difference is. But uh, we, we will find out together. There's also some dark matter armor, which I will create for you. Uh, the nano armor that I have actually got at the moment is uh, better than dark matter stuff, uh, or it was at least, but I'll make it and then you can see what it looks like. So as you can see, uh, my 
armor it's almost up to diamond level I've still got a little bit of nano suit creation uh, but if I get rid of that and put that on that does actually show full uh, diamond level uh, however this suit does actually take more damage than this one uh, ooh, look at the it's not factified but that's actually rather scary <laughs> Uh, but this armor, it used to be, I don't know if it still is, uh, it just, it acts like normal armor, this one, whereas the nano armor uh, reduces the uh, impact by so much uh, because it's powered. Uh, I don't know if I'm explaining that quite right. So I will stick with the nano armor. Uh, so I'm going to put this little lot in here. Unfortunately, there's no armor stands uh, so yeah okay so let's see if I can remember what these actually do haha uh, <laughs> see now it's fully charged with EMC using the V key uh, so hopefully this might just be a one hit kill uh, there's a horse over there for me to test this on so uh, sorry Mr. Horse you're gonna have to be my test subject uh, there used to be a Another section. Now that increases power. Uh, like I say, it has been a while since I've used it, but it uh, used to be. Um, unless it's the red guitar that I'm thinking of. Uh, but anyway, we'll move down and go into the mines and uh, have a look at the other stuff. Uh, but as you can see, this stuff does not really require a charge. So, uh, and they don't break either. Oops, wrong ladder. <laughs> there we go, that's the ladder I need. Let's head down into the mines and do a little bit of testing on this equipment. Uh, so, yeah, this should do now. Uh, I think this does actually vein. Yes, there we are. It does actually vein mine if you hold right click on certain ores. So, that must have had a lot of copper in there. If I just right click on it, it just does it really, really quickly and no durability whatsoever. So it all goes into my inventory with quite a lot. Oh, must have picked up quite a lot of copper and stuff there. Must have been all connected. Uh, there's a bit more here. There we are. <laughs> Rather cool. Right, let's <laughs> test the hammer. Yeah, that works quite nicely. I don't know if you saw that. This is fully charged. Let's do it normally, so one block at a time, as you can see. And then let's charge it up a tiny bit. And this actually works fairly similar to the uh, Tinker's Construct hammers of 1.7 days. But if I fully charge it, as you can see, it makes a much larger hole. Can I right click on that? No, I can't. Okay, so you can mine a little bit more. And a little bit easier. <laughs> uh, hello, Mr. Zombie. How are you? Can you... No, uh, he's not... Yeah, might be the red Qatar. Qatar that I'm thinking of. And uh, what I mean by that is... Uh, is the red Katana, which is the red matter sword. Uh, there it is, the red Katana. As you can see, this is a mix of a lot of weaponry in with one but I do need all the red matter stuff uh, which is fairly expensive as you can see uh, so yeah I'll be looking into that at a later date uh, let me just uh, find my way out of here I think it was just in case of going straight on weren't it was this it I always get lost in my own mind so let's just grab this little bit of iron while I'm passing. A little bit of iron does not hurt. Alright, cool, there's my exit. And there's even a little bit of a redness here. Don't want mobs spawning and coming down here. Right, anyway, so there's a little bit of stuff. Obviously the dark matter axe and the shovel do do fairly similar things uh so that's kind of cool and i never knew i had that there hmm I'm gonna have to try and fix that anyway let's put some of this stuff uh, back 
I'm uh, not really that bothered about the rubies, but I'll keep the rest in it just for now. Uh, let me just empty my inventory of this nice stuff. Sapphires, diamonds. There we go, all sorted. So I do have to be careful with some of these tools because I could end up actually uh, griefing myself and destroying my own house. So that's why I'm putting them up there, especially the shovel, uh, the axe. Because uh, actually, let's go and test the axe. We might as well test the axe while we're here. Uh, so let's charge this thing fully up and let's see what happens. Yeah, there we go. All gone. And <laughs> straight into my inventory. Uh, kind of cool. So let's just fly over here, and then you can see that again. It's again, it's fairly similar to what Tinker Tools are now, uh, but uh, these are a little bit quicker. <laughs> you don't actually have to chop them down; it all just disappears quite nicely. You get the apples and everything else that you need, which is kind of cool. And it doesn't seem to actually work on the rubber trees, which is interesting. I didn't actually realize that. Let's just try that again. Nope, it's affected over there, but it uh, didn't actually get over here. So it's actually got a fair range on it as well. See, I'm reminding myself. Let's see if I right click. Yeah, that one's disappeared. Over. Uh, yeah, so I could do some decent deforestation around here <laughs> and get all the wood that I would ever need. Kind of cool. There we go. <laughs> oh dear. Fun and games. Fun and games. Anyway, we need to start thinking about actually upgrading some of our uh, machines. Oh, can you see what I mean about griefing my own place? See, because I right clicked on this, it actually picked up all the, the wood, the, the wood, the raw wood on here. Uh, <laughs> oh dear, that's uh, fun. So I've got to try and rebuild my house now. Oh well, oops, don't want you. Uh, let me just turn that down. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. That's uh, not good. Oh well, at least it's a little bit easier because I can fly these days. Uh, there we are. Shouldn't take me too long to do. Oops, I didn't want you like that. Uh, yeah, that's fine. And then that needs to come across here like that. I do need to upgrade my house anyway from wood, I think. Just haven't quite decided on what I want to do. Uh, whether or not to upgrade this or build something else um so what i was thinking while i'm actually talking about it is actually replacing a lot of this wood with probably brick and uh doing like a stone type of roof mm. i don't know yet uh, like i said i don't know whether or not to keep this house or build something a little bit bigger oops we don't want that way we want we want this way there we are put this wood away uh, get rid of you before I destroy anything else. <laughs> so, yeah, that's one of the kind of big things on a server because uh, if you are on a server, a lot of people could grief your place very, very easily and destroy it within a matter of seconds, especially if they had the hammer and things like that. So, on most servers, you'd probably find this sort of stuff being banned. Uh, but I'm not on a server, so that doesn't affect me. And it's only my place that I can grief. <laughs> uh, right. Anyway, uh, you know what? I think I'm going to call that an episode here. I was going to upgrade uh, these machines, uh, but I think I'm actually running out of time now with uh, demonstrating what these things can actually do. Uh, so, uh, thank you very much for joining me. I hope that you enjoyed today's episode, uh, and I will see you next time. Bye.